G'day, Glav here. Welcome back. Thanks for checking back in. If you hadn't subscribed already, please do. Uh, another tyre ride, a 10 day -er this time, 2,700 kilometres in total, so that's an average of 270 a day. A pretty easy, relaxing ride, that's what we wanted. Three of us on this ride, myself, Palmy from Dark Side Riders and Mac from the Black Sheep. Uh, on this ride, we sort of head up through Kaliai, Lockbury, and stay there the first night, then for Sonalok, then Pra, Nan. And then on to Chiang Rai for New Year's Eve. From Chiang Rai we head across to Chiang Mai and spend a couple of days in Chiang Mai just generally relaxing and ginning about. Um, then from there we head down to Tak, from Tak to Singbury and Singbury home. Excellent ride, probably split this one in, there's a lot of stuff in this so I might split it into a couple of videos. See how I go, try not to bore you too much. You get it, happy days. Day one. 10 day ride, heading north, on my way to meet Army, Dark Side Riders, Matt, Black Sheep, three of us are doing a 10 day trip around northern Thailand. Thailand's pretty busy actually, it's that time of the year, so anyway, it should be a good ride, happy days. So we're at the meeting point, the boys are all here, we're off on our 10 day ride. This is about the cleanest you'll see these bikes, on the 10 day ride that is. Happy days. We are up near Paknam, and what would it be without a bit of dirt? At least this is reasonably smooth. We are on the 4049, this is quite a scenic little bit of road, not particularly fast, but hey, just uh, nice to dawdle along. We are up near Nakon Naok, but not on the highway, just following the um, irrigation ditches. Much better way to go than the highway. So this ride's been designed as a relaxing ride, not a hard ride, so we're only a few hundred kilometres, 200 plus kilometres in, we're stopping for another coffee, why? Because we can, we've got shitloads of time, nice relaxing ride, every day will be the same as well, happy days. This place is somewhere up Nak on Naok, I'm guessing we're somewhere here, and it's called Coffee Doi Hom, nice little spot. Just skirting the edge of Kaoyai National Park. Not a bad road this, nicely bitumen. Fairly scenic. It's really pretty through here. I guess we're only, I don't know, 30, 40 k's from the road, half an hour out of Kaoyai, heading north to Basonalok. We just came across this little coffee joint, just looked, given I haven't had a coffee this morning, too nice to pass up. In fact, there's three coffee places right beside each other, each with this view. Pretty cool. There's a steak restaurant with a windmill down there. Hey, hey, it's the Glavatron. We are still meandering along, I think it's the 2275. Had to drop the speed a bit, this road is pretty rough. 
a lot of shadows along the road so you can't see where the potholes are. This game is called Dodge the Fucking Pothole, which is pretty hard given they're all potholes. The trucks along here, cane trucks, have just torn this road to bits. Don't know, can't remember what road we're on. Just the road is shit. Far out. This is an interesting bit of road cutting through the rice fields. It's just a shame there's dirt and potholes everywhere. They even lay out long stretches of rice on the road to dry it out. You'd like to hook through here, but it's just too dangerous. Bloody potholes everywhere, shit everywhere. We're about 20 kilometres outside of Pisana Lock. We'll be there in about 15 minutes. Just cutting through agricultural land now. Nice road. Rice, corn, bananas. Road's in pretty good nick too, quite pleasant. Don't know the name of the road, so don't bother asking me. So good morning, uh, morning of day three, we're at Fitzsonalock, uh, heading north to Pra this morning, about 222 kilometres, only a short ride. Very sad news overnight, good Kiwi mate of mine up here, Bernie White, died. Yesterday, very sad news. This guy was a legend. The past two years during COVID, he spent almost every day of his life handing out food and water and help to the Thai people that have suffered in Pattaya from the COVID pandemic. Uh, just tragic news. He was only diagnosed a couple of months back. Um, not sure how old Bernie was, in his late 60s perhaps. Uh, fit, strong, big, hulking man and took him to nothing within a few months. Very, very sad. Rest in peace, my friend. Man, he can't help himself. He's actually cleaning his bike every day before we go. He's fasted without fault. It's actually an illness that he has. The way, he, the way he shook that container tells you something about the man too. Look. Heading, I'm about 40 k's outside of Fasonalock, heading north. So far, this road's just been brilliant. It's just been not this section, but just sweepers. Beautifully maintained road. Quite a contrast to yesterday. We'll see how the rest of the ride goes. So we just pulled up at a coffee shop. A couple of Thai guys, cup and cup, pulled up, wanted photos with us as normal. Yeah. Come on. 
So we've got a heap of time today. So we're about 50 k's outside of Fasonalock. Just found this quaint little coffee shop as you do here. They're everywhere. Fantastic. Happy days. How nice is this road? Heading north to Prey. This constant sweepers and the road's in really good nick too. Very, very nice. No potholes at all. Look at this. Yeehaw. Yippee Kai, hey! Given we got heaps of times today, we've just found another little coffee shop on the side of the road. Why not? Shitloads of time. I'm 70 kilometres outside of Prey, where we're stopping for the night. Have a look at this road. Don't ask me the road name. We're just zigzagging through the jungle, staying away from the highways. How nice is this? Holy dooly. Yeehaw. Very picturesque rice paddies here. Got about 27 k's to go before we hit our destination. Thought it'd be nice to get the boys in the camera instead of me being out the front all the time. Oi! Little puppy on the road. Without me knowing it, the bloody cable up to my microphone in the helmet broke. Uh, therefore, there'll be no more vlogging, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, for the rest of this uh, video. Uh, this, we're just we're on this mountainous road between Pra and and Narn. It's fa just fantastic, and we've come across this little waterfall. So we're that's what we're doing here. We're going in to investigate. Well, that must be little waterfalls here I guess in the wet season it would be far more spectacular but it's still pretty cool. I bet that water's bloody cold, there's a nice little swimming hole there but you know. Right well, just in the middle of the jungle. Not sure of the name of the place. We're about half an hour outside of Pra heading the back roads as we always do. And we, the match bitching, and we've missed the coffee shop. I caught that on film, by the way. <laughs> There's this temple just built into the side of the mountain. I didn't actually catch the name of it. I guess there it is in Thai, for anyone that can read Thai. Pretty cool. These gold Buddhas, stupas. A couple of monks in there. It's a coffee shop. Uh, you, you saw the same, eh? Yeah, it's a coffee shop and homestay, it's it. Yeah. Right up in the top of the mountains here. It's 
so beautiful. Except for that guy on a two-stroke motorbike trying to get up a very steep hill. This is cool. How can one find happiness without realised suffering? So we've just been to that lot and stupa down the road. Um, it's beautiful, built in the side of the mountain. Now we found this little Una cafe built on the side of the cliff in a couple of k's. How good is this? Happy days! We're just meandering today through the mountains, not going far. We'll be doing this shit all day. Ah, my brake pads turned up, of course, we'll be fitting them this way. <laughs> on the net, buddy. Matt was too ashamed and gutless to do it. Long way to fall. How cool is this joint? Wow. This joint is really cool. Looks like the dog in a boogie there. Eh? You've just got no idea how steep this road actually is and it's covered in leaf litter as well. Um, the camera just doesn't pick it up. Fantastic though. So here's this little snack shop on the side of the mountain and they've built these little cabanas. They've built these little cabanas once you buy your snacks to go and sit in. You can probably stay at night in them. It's pretty fucking cool actually. And smart ass Matt over there, he said, Oh, I bet you we need another two kilometers and stop. Well, I just found it for the motherfucker.
Good morning, it's 6.30am, we're in Narn, change of plans, we're going up to Puchifar on the Lao border today, we tried to do it once before and couldn't get there because we got rained out, we actually got to Puchifar but couldn't get up to the top, this is in the clouds on the Thai Lao border, and then for New Year's Eve tonight we're heading into Chiang Rai, should be a better night in Chiang Rai than where we were going to go before, happy days. So they're back in the song tower. Uh, you're not allowed to take the bikes up the top. You've got to take the song tower up to the top. Last time we were here, there were no song towers right in the guts of COVID. So finally. Made it to Puchifar. We haven't got quite to the top. There's another 400 step thing we have to do to get to the top, but we'll do that shortly. But here we are, up in the clouds. This is on the Thai Lao border. And apparently, the 400 steps takes you way up there somewhere. We're in Thailand as we speak, the very peak at Puchifar, which is 1628 meters. 5,000 feet and over there in the clouds is Lao. There's a big climb up, it's about a half a k uphill. Worked us out. Wanted to do this for years. We are just heading out of Chiang Rai here and it's a really, really foggy morning. It's the 1st of January 2022 and we're heading to the White Temple. After we do the White Temple, we'll be belting down the freeway to Chiang Mai. So this is the White Temple in Chiang Rai. we we'll have never have thrown the drone up here anyway. Fog's in, but we'll go and have a wander around.
it's New Year's Day and it's really busy here today. People everywhere. This is a very strange temple. All these dead people reaching out of the ground. The skull. The roof here and then all these silver little things. These little bells. Obligatory stop at the AT Rubar in Chiang Mai, which all bikers have to stop at, of course. For lunch, we're at this pretty cool hamburger joint called Rock Mead, right in the heart of Chiang Mai. It's pretty cool. That's not, but forget that. I'm having salad. The finished product. Gonski. Well, that's our 10 day ride done and dusted. 2,700 kilometres of brilliant roads. Thanks to my mate Palmy from Dark Side Riders and also Matt from the Black Sheep. Thanks boys, wonderful trip, happy days. Remember people, life can be ever so friggin' short, therefore live life today.